Hello and welcome to a new installment of TriFeed Studio's How To Series. My name is George Leite and I'm going to show you one affordable way to make some awesome exposures through a microscope, a technique also known as photomicrography. But before we get to the project, check out these pictures I've produced for this episode. Please keep in mind, you don't need an expensive piece of equipment to do this. Yet, I'm going to assume you are a happy owner of a DSLR camera with interchangeable lenses and you also have access to a fairly decent microscope. For the purpose of this project, the former is a requirement, whereas the latter will basically influence the characteristics of the final images. When it comes to photography, if you are a quality and control freak like me, you also need a remote off-camera flash unit. It is going to replace the mirror or building light from the microscope when you decide to take the final shot. So let's take a look at my setup. As you can see, it's pretty simple in that the camera is directly attached to the microscope via the body tube. No adapters required. I've added a tripod to the configuration for extra support. Other than that, the flash or light source is located right below the stage, pointed directly at the diaphragm. The objective is then to build what would be a new lens for your camera using the microscope's eyepiece. You're going to spend less than two dollars and thirty minutes to complete this project. Here's what you need from your local hardware store. Two half-inch bolts with accompanying washers and nuts and an O-ring, which is basically a rubber ring you may find at the plumbing section. This ring must be slightly smaller in diameter than the eyepiece you are about to use, but more on that later. Also, you must be willing to transform that unused camera cap into your new lens mounting ring. The first step is to draw a template that's going to temporarily sit on top of the camera cap and serve as a guide so that you could precisely drill the hole that's going to house the eyepiece dead center. You may find these basic charts out there if you google fraction and look for the images. Next, draw a circle using the outermost part of the eyepiece as your standard. This is extremely important. As you can see, the template should be affixed on top of the camera cap before you could do the drilling. My advice would be to use spade bits as shown on the video. They are very effective for this kind of work, but whatever tool you choose, make sure the opening that's going to be produced is smaller in diameter than the outermost part of the eyepiece you just used as your standard. Otherwise, the eyepiece will fly straight through the camera cap, which is not the desired result. Remember that you use the eyepiece to draw that inner circle. Drill two extra holes opposite to one another next to the main opening. They will hold the bolts that are going to keep the eyepiece firmly in place. Slide the eyepiece through the camera cap as shown on the video. Next, insert the bolts, add the washers, and Fasten the nuts to a point when you feel the whole assembly is secure but not too tight. Finally, the O-ring should be placed around the eyepiece outside the lens, all the way near the bottom. This will prevent any unwanted light from leaking into the camera. Here's your new lens. Cool, isn't it? All you need now are some interesting subjects. You can find many different suppliers on the internet. Just a few quick tips before I wrap it up. Watch your white balance and make sure it's well calibrated. Also, you will need to take advantage of the mirror and built-in light from your microscope during your composition. So keep them within reach. And when you're ready to capture that magical image, use your strobe. 
I hope you have enjoyed it. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.